Hi, good morning Jordan. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 24th of August 2023. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name, for the record please? My full name is Jordan Horner. Okay. What is your candidate number? My candidate number is 2121212121. All right. Are you taking this test as a nurse? Yes, I am. Okay. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Okay. Now, let's move on to warm-up sessions. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right, Mihir. Why did you choose nursing as a career? I chose nursing as a career because I have always been interested in human anatomy and physiology, and I wanted to apply my knowledge in a practical way. I also enjoy working with people and making a positive difference in their lives. Nursing allows me to do both of these things every day. How do you handle stress and pressure at work? I handle stress and pressure at work by focusing on what I can control and letting go of what I can't. I prioritize my tasks according to urgency and importance, and I delegate or ask for help when necessary. I also communicate clearly and respectfully with my colleagues and supervisors, and I seek feedback to improve my skills and learn from my mistakes. When I feel overwhelmed or frustrated, I take a few minutes to breathe deeply, relax my muscles, or listen to some music. How do you deal with difficult patients or family members? I deal with difficult patients or family members by trying to understand their perspective and feelings and acknowledging their concerns. I listen attentively and empathetically to what they have to say and I avoid interrupting or arguing with them. I also try to resolve any conflicts or misunderstandings by clarifying expectations, explaining procedures, or providing information. If the situation escalates or becomes abusive, I seek assistance from my supervisor or security personnel. How do you keep your skills and knowledge up to date? I keep my skills and knowledge up to date by reading relevant journals and newsletters, attending seminars and workshops, taking online courses, and joining professional associations. I also seek feedback from my peers and mentors, and participate in quality improvement initiatives at work. What are your strengths and weaknesses as a nurse? One of my strengths as a nurse is my clinical skills. I have a strong knowledge base and experience in various specialties, such as medical surgical, critical care, and emergency nursing. I am proficient in performing various procedures, such as venipuncture, catheterization, and wound care. I am also confident in using various equipment, such as ventilators, monitors, and pumps. One of my weaknesses as a nurse is my time management skills. I sometimes struggle to complete all my tasks within the allotted time, especially when there are unexpected interruptions or delays. I am working on improving my time management skills by planning ahead, prioritizing tasks, delegating when possible, and using a checklist to keep track of my progress. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patient, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahira. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about, and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you, Mihira. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. The role play will now last for about 5 minutes. Don't worry if I stop you, when the time is up. Can you start the role play, please? Good morning, Mihira. Good to see you again. I'm your attending nurse, Jordan Horner here. How are you doing? Good morning, nurse. Good to see you too. I am good. Thank you for asking. Great. Just to confirm, can you tell me the reason for your visit today? I am here for the INR test, because I am having a long flight. Okay. Before we begin the test, I'd like to find out more details about your trip. Sure, why not? I'm traveling next week for a family wedding. It takes more than six hours of flight, and I am a bit worried about my condition. Okay. That sounds exciting. However, since you have atrial fibrillation, and are on a warfare and therapy, it's important that you take some precautions during your flight, to reduce the risk of blood clots. And, I know that is the reason why you are worried. Yes, nurse. I have no idea, how to deal with the situation. Don't worry, I will provide some strategies to deal with the situation. Firstly, I would recommend intermittent walking during the flight. Secondly, wear loose clothes, to help improve blood flow. Thirdly, use compression stockings, which can also help reduce the risk of blood clots. Mihira, do you have any questions about these strategies? No. I got it. By the winners, what about consuming alcohol? Well, considering the consumption of alcohol, it is important that you avoid alcohol consumption, as it can increase your risk of bleeding and cause blood circulation problems. Oh, is it? Yes, Mahira. Above all, if possible, I would recommend postponing your trip until your ANR levels are stable. May I know your thoughts, please? Oh, I am sorry, nurse. It is not possible to postpone the trip. I have to be there for the wedding. I am ready to follow all your instructions, but I must fly. All right. I understand the necessity. It's okay. However, if you must travel, it's important that you take extra precautions such as, avoiding sitting for long periods of time, for which I recommend intermittent walking during the flight. Okay. Mihira, it is also important to stay hydrated, by drinking plenty of water. You should also inform the airline staff about your condition, so that they can provide any necessary assistance during the flight. Do you have any questions about this? No. I will do as you suggest. That's perfect. Now, that we've discussed these strategies and options, do you have any other concerns? No, nurse. I am good. Good to hear. Now, I'd like to establish your consent to begin the ANR test. Do you consent to the test? Yes. You may please proceed. Thank you. Well, before concluding, let me summarize what we have discussed so far, Mihira. You're here today for an INR test, due to your upcoming flight for a family wedding, and you're concerned about managing your condition of atrial fibrillation while traveling. I've provided you with a set of strategies, to help reduce the risk of blood clots during your flight. First, intermittent walking. It's advised to walk around periodically during the flight, to improve blood circulation. Second, loose clothing. Wearing loose clothes can aid in better blood flow. Third, Compression stockings, these can further help in reducing the risk of blood clots. Fourth, avoid alcohol, it's best to avoid alcohol consumption, as it can impact bleeding and blood circulation. Fifth, hydration and informing airline staff, stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water, and inform airline staff about your condition, for any necessary assistance. Sure. While postponing the trip would be ideal, until your ANR levels stabilize, You've mentioned that this isn't possible due to the wedding. So, in that case, following these precautions is crucial. Remember to avoid extended periods of sitting, keep hydrated, and inform the airline staff about your condition. If you have any more concerns, feel free to ask. Safe travels and enjoy the wedding. Thank you, nurse. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the best. Thank you.
me here. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.